Hey, what's up, everybody? It's KidJack68. I'm going to show you how to install J Downloader 2 Beta and also IDM on here. And I'll show you how fast these downloads go. We'll just walk through everything. This might take a little while, and I'm not really that great at these videos. So it might be about 10 minutes. If you want, you can just fast forward till you find cool stuff. We'll go through this and let's work it out. First thing is, if you go to Premiumize, you go to Premiumize.me, this is the front page, is where you sign up. Um, if you're in the United States or Canada, they're not going to let you uh, have the 7 day trial, but PM me, I might be able to get you a coupon to get the 7 day trial. Uh, I, I talked to them, I haven't gotten, I got an answer, they said that they would think about it, so they're thinking about it and if I get them I'll give them to you I'll post up there if I get them so basically if you're gonna go to J downloader you need this J downloader 2 beta and uh, whoever that is um, I would suggest just coming onto this page clicking uh, just click right there get your account ready for premiumize click on that this will pop up and then here it just says you can download a full working version from our server right here. If you have J Downloader, I would um, uninstall it and then put this one on it. Okay, this is going to take a couple seconds to do, so I'm going to pause this. Alright, we're back. I got it done. I extracted it into a file. Now, I know you can click on it like this and it'll open up your winner or whatever. And you can see inside of the file. Well, it normally does. It's not working. All right. Well, anyway, I installed. I, I did it in a file and I extracted it. Make sure you extract it because it won't work. And then you want to go to the J Downloader Beta EXE and click on that. And I think that's how it starts. There we go. So cool. We'll go here. This is how you do it, real quick. Oh, I'm gonna get hit with updates. You go to settings. And you want to change max chunks per download. You want to put eight max simultaneous downloads. You want to do eight? Or I do. I mean, you might want to according to your setting. If you got a pretty good internet connection, I would do eight. If you if you're just somewhat slow, I would do four. Maybe four and then eight chunks. I like the eight chunk part. That's like with IDM when it splits it up and then puts it together. That's how that works. So that's about it there. But by all, I'm not really that wonderfully great on J Downloader. I like IDM myself. I think it's quicker. And it's, for me, it's not as confusing. But that's just, I guess, how you feel about whatever it is there. I'm going to pause this and find a link. I'll be right back. Okay, I got this J Downloader thing working out here. Um, there's a, a link that I got. We'll, we'll see how this works. Why do they always want to install these damn toolbars? You get like 50 toolbars if you don't pay attention. Oh, we recommend you to send it this way, and you do, and you get these stupid toolbars. No, I don't want one. And it's going to try to install it anyway. I hate that. Anyway. Um, when you're doing your J Downloader, um, inside of your file, it's not J Downloader Beta EXE, it's this one, J Downloader.exe, to start it. So I would right click on it, go to Send to, and then uh, Desktop. And that way you'll get a you'll get a um, thing. My desktop's a mess, man. But here it is. So then when you just click on it, it'll just open. But I already opened it, so I guess it won't. Now let's go back to doing this here. Okay, we got this here. So let's, let's see how it works. I guess you hit play. Okay, it's connecting. We're using rapid dot in free mode. Oh. I guess I didn't configure it yet. Hold on. So you go here, settings, account manager. Um, in account manager, you want to click add. And scroll down to here. You 
gonna look for premiumize.me it's here somewhere it's things pain in the butt there it is so you just click on that you can't enter it in or anything you just gotta click on it find it in that drop down put your uh, username here and your password and then just hit enter or ok you click ok and it's going to check it says premium so you click ok so now I'm, I'm done I don't want to do that man I already done now that was in, in that was in um, frame mode we don't have to do that we're uh download there we go okay that thing is uh not going at great speed let's stop this okay okay I'm back let's try it again we'll do a rapid gator one we'll hit a uh, copy and that usually makes it come into here somehow a link grabber add downloads I guess I don't know it, it just copied it for me before okay it found it which is good let's start the download we'll see what kind of speed we get now I, I forgot to show you how to do that I'm not great at these things yet it's generating a link I don't know what that means this doesn't work all that wonderfully for me okay what's my speed going on it's not really that wonderful. Wonder why. See with IDM man, I can use the same link and I'll get way better speed than this. That's well that's better now. I guess it took it a couple seconds to get a few of the connections. I'm getting two six. That's not too bad. Oh, there we go. It taps out at three point seven for here. Uh, IDM for me taps out a little over four which this is good speed it's going to take me about four minutes but it, it I guess it takes a couple seconds to collect connect all of those that's pretty much how you do this one just remember to go into your settings and change those to you know the max chunks eight some I guess you could play around with this that's the one I found that seems to work best for me that's about it on J downloader let me pause this and we'll go into IDM all right I'm back now with IDM I guess I'll show you how to uh uh, do that one real quick go into downloads right here on your main page click downloads and then click scheduler this is the one I always start first on go to files in queue and you want to change this to 8 you don't have to you can do 4 if, you're, if your connection is a little slower I would suggest you just keep it it'll the base the basic one is four that's the default setting but I like putting it to eight because it gets me I don't know my, my connection is pretty quick that's the first step on that one that I always do and you can go to downloads options proxy okay and it's going to be unchecked you just check here and what you want to do is enter scorpion.premiumize.me I use port uh, 9668 but you can use um you can use 80 or 81 80 is the one they suggest um your firewall might stop it if it does you're gonna have to unblock it which whatever firewall you're using it, it probably won't it might if it does try using port six, 9668 it worked for me pretty well and you just enter your username here and your password here and then make sure these are all three are checked and then just click OK and then you're, you're good to go here that was all I did okay and, and uh, we'll go back on that same rapid gator one that I used before and we'll highlight it I'm gonna right click download with IDM and with IDM you gotta wait until you see the file and it'll you know how big it is there's the ref oh, okay there's how big it is now we'll hit download on this okay and you see my transfer rates booking on this I, it goes a lot faster for me on I like IDM better it just seems quick but I'm getting four, four meg and that's on a what is it rapid gator when people say their their connection's slow I tend to disagree that's maxing out 
for me. That's as fast as my internet connection will go. Um, I have a 50 megabit connection, which translates to 4 megabytes. I love how they do that. The little cable company gets you all screwed. Alright, well, we're going to stop this one. I'm just going to cancel it. We're going to pick another one. We'll pick upload. Right click. Download with IDM. I just want to show you the speeds on these real quick. Okay, that was 375. We'll hit start download. Okay, transfer rate. Again, I'm maxing out. That's as fast as my internet connection will go. It's 4 megabytes. It's fast for me anyway. So, we're going to cancel that one. Let's go to netload. There we go. That one picked up quick. And again, transfer rate. Maxing out. Fast as my connection will go. Cancel. Let's go to exhibit. Wait until you see the number. It takes a second or two. There we go. I hit start it up after you see the number. That's all I gotta say. There we go. Boom. Again, maxing out. So if anybody says this doesn't get you full speed, they're wrong or they're doing something incorrect. Um, I would suggest using IDM. I like this a lot better than J Download or sometimes I could. I was having all kinds of troubles. I, I put it on. I couldn't find it. Anyway, that's the deal with that one. Now, let me go into premium. I'm going to show you some other things here. Um, we'll go into here. All right, you click on your whatever browser you're going to do. I use Firefox. I'll, I'll show you through Firefox real quick. Um, basically, this one is... I, I might have showed you already, but I'll show you again. We'll go through it real quick. Just options. And then you want to go to Advanced, Network, Settings. And then you want to put that little deal right there and it'll show you that when you get your little code it's uh it's on your front page right here and that's it that's your code there now um here's the supported sites i'll go through this these three are streaming sites so you, the stream's pretty quick actually i'm not sure about bitshare i'm not really seeing that much but these two i see a lot put locker and sock share one of the ones I like using for streaming sites is this one. It's uh, onechannel.ch. Now, if you're going to search for movies, you have to click on movies and make sure you only search for the movie. If you're looking for TV shows, make sure you click on the TV show first. Okay, we'll, we'll go here, and I already got this one up. Never saw this show, but we'll see how it works. Okay, so here's Put Locker. Now, I have that entered in there. I have the proxy on. You don't necessarily have to have it on. In fact, if you're going to upload, I think you have to shut that off. Now, you don't need to configure your Firefox if you're going to use a download manager. Um, what happened? Why did no work? I keep getting a proxy error. There we go. Okay, and you can see this thing. Look at that. Boom! That thing is cooking. That's that's how much it's loaded. This just flies with this account. Now I have it within where I pick up uh, immediately on downloading files. Now I'll show you how to configure IDM a little bit better. So I was just showing you that one. This, this works good. I like it. So this is premiumized.me. This is a good streaming site. If you don't want to download them, you can just watch them. So let's get out of here. We'll go back to uh, over here. Now here's here's the prices on these. Pretty good, six ninety nine European. I guess that's about eight bucks, nine bucks, whatever it is. If Obama keeps bar borrowing all this money. You guys will be like six dollars, and we'll be at like twenty. <laughs> anyway, that's a different story. Let me go on IDM here. Okay. Now for here I go to options and I go into file types because I don't like it automatically doing anything so I just I do all those okay I just delete up here there's a bunch of files just delete all of these all you gotta do is just highlight them 
and delete them and then it won't automatically download for you because that really irritates me <coughs> on downloads um, yeah that's pretty good might be under general settings um, I think it's this one yeah download FTL video with IDM and uh, it's just a streaming video that, that little download thing will pop up if you don't want it you can uncheck it but uh, I, I, I like it I like downloading um, stuff from like YouTube that way but anyway that, that's about it I mean this this works really well all those are downloaded or I stopped them all I mean, gonna have pitch perfect five times I don't know Let's see what else I can go through here real quick. Here's Usenet. They got Usenet. I don't know how to do it. Um, I tried. I just kept getting a connection 502 error like I got a second ago with the premium eyes off, whatever it was here. So, um, but basically, you just go into those install instructions and, you know, whatever it is, it'll pretty much tell you they don't have an IDM one so I went through that as best as I could if y'all got any questions I'm sorry it's once so long I see it's like 16 and a half minutes and I ramble but I was trying to be explicit as possible on this and show you how to use this the best you can now I will go back through here again here's all the different files you can download deposit it I mean there's a bunch of them hopefully they'll add a couple more I like the room file I don't have no one here. This is Game Pass, which is pretty cool. And if you're out of the country, somewhere like Australia or whatever, um, this will route you through automatically through US servers, so you can connect to a uh, YouTube through this and the UK channel, whatever one that one was. That was pretty cool. Uh, BBC UK. You can watch it through here, and, and these three, you, you can watch them, which is pretty neat. Um, I haven't tried these or anything. But that's about it. Um, I'm on this video and thanks for listening. Sorry if I took too long, but I was trying to make everybody understand it. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching.